guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season three of Laid Back Camp. It is so, so weird that we're getting this, and it's already here, and oh my god, this, what, besides like everything else, duh, most anticipated for this season, because duh, my babies, and my like, comfort show and such, even though, you know, you're going, you know, going fucking camping, yes, <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <gasps> Look, you baby! Grandpa? Oh, damn. Ah, for social studies. Really freaking pretty. Why are you so small? Oh my god, my baby. A little. Right? I, I think anybody would be. But it's okay. Right? Might as well just get both. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's camping equipment. Are we getting the opening too? <gasps> we are! Ah! <laughs> they all look so good in the new art style. She's back.
Yeah. And here comes the puppy. You know, you think Kirby would at least be with her? I mean, come on. What? Like, well, I get it, because Nineshko is also doing her own solo campaign, but I want to see my written kirby this right now. Like, oh my god. Aww. Mm-hmm. Or you deal with some rocks. Are you going to take... Oh. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> mm -mm. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but he's got to make the, you know... Edge of it, really? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I hate allergy season. Poor baby. Oh, my God. Try another one. Maybe try blowing on it? <gasps> oh, there we go! Good, huh? Uh oh.
Baby. Yeah, you'll be able to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Right? But hey, you never know what you can make by yourself. Okay. Yeah, easy to peel it off, yeah. All right, Kirby. <laughs> Bye. She, once again, she even cries like Kirby, my baby. <laughs> are, are you sure that's going to be good? Not the Axel!
Okay, now we just need Rin to just walk in. Chicoa! You want to cut your hair? I mean, but Curb, your, your twin tails, those make you you, baby. Okay, should we invite Rin to this as well? <laughs> Yay! No, you seriously can't. Good job, babe. You think she has alcohol? Girl, you got alcohol on your it? Okay, okay. See, but when I think of alcohol, I'm thinking of actual, you know, drink, drink, and it's like, I was like, there, yeah, see, yeah, 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 that surely is. It is. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now it's blue. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, always be careful. Don't get too, too drunk, even though you guys are still in school. You're not really adult adults yet. Yeah, it can't be something like too crazy. Hmm? Take a picture. 
name too when you read. You gotta text your girlfriend. This was a good first episode. Oh my god. Like, it just, every single season, ever since season one, it always feels like you're coming home. And, and I've said that for, like, a lot of anime, especially, like, Soonerin and a couple of others. But truly, it just, that warm, happiness, happiness feeling that you always feel when you're watching an anime that is, like, your comfort show in a way. It just, ugh. It hits the spot. I do love the fact is the first half of this episode was very Rin face focused and then the second half was Nadesh Girl and Friends focused, which I love. But your girl is secretly waiting for a when everybody is together. So hopefully that happens soon-ish because once again, I need my Kirby and Rin moments. Th those are my babies. And they're just so freaking sweet and adorable together and I just miss them interacting. Like I love the fact that we got a flashback of them talking, like, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend yes, but it's like, I still want to see them in the present day, in the moment, literally having a conversation. But of course, these two, they just love their texting, because, you know, dog girlfriends and shit. Like, they're just like, here, let me take a picture of this and this and this, and then let me just send it to my girlfriend, because, dog, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> but no. Let's really talk about the art style. Something about this one really makes everybody pop, like in a really good way. Are they still going to do the one thing that they used to do? <gasps> they are! <laughs> so sweet. Oh, my God. Oh, see, that just warms my heart even more. Like, brah, seriously. Because when you start that and stuff, because I, I was talking about this, like, a while back ago when I saw, like, the first posters and trailers and stuff for this, and especially looking at the new art style and everything. I don't know if this is still the same studio that did season one, season two, and the um room camp OVA series and such um mind you but if it is like I, I totally get the fact is like yeah you want to make everything looks good it's like when I look at this especially in like the first couple of minutes and after the opening and when Rin is on her moped and she's driving it really looks like when you look at the environment and the atmosphere and everything that you're really there in the moment especially when you're looking at season three towards season one season two and I think with the upscale of what they've done, plus to the fact is making them all in this brand new art style, but still keeping it very similar to the previous three series of this series and such, it still feels good, but it's like more upscaled, if you know what I mean. Because everybody just looks so freaking good. And that's why I'm like, well, damn, like everybody got a brand new look. And I love that. It's just, once again, it makes it pop a lot. It really, like, as much as I love the old art style and that art style, which is gorgeous and stuff, this is just, it is fucking next level very much. But yes, I need my girlies to interact. Like you cannot, I, I really hope that we don't go like the season two route where it took like a really long time for those two to interact, especially with like, I think like my personal favorite episode was the episode where, um, Kirby decides to go on her own lo her her um her own solo camp for an episode, and so both Rin and her sister literally like stalked the crap out of her just to make sure that she was okay, which I thought was super adorable and wholesome and such because they're very like, you know, 
I can't say the word, but they, they care about her so much. And I think that's really sweet because you're like, you don't want anything to happen to, you know, your girlfriend slash AKA your younger sister and such. So you want to do everything in your power to be like, okay, we got to make sure she's all right. And, you know, text every five minutes like, you okay? You know, everything's going good. Nothing's wrong. And it's just like, no, I'm fine. And, and they're just looking like, she's okay, she's okay. <laughs> but no, it was so freaking cute. Oh my God. But um, especially in, the, in this new opening, I, I talked about it, I think, when I got to see the other first looks of the two new girls. One of the girls, um, specifically the girl who has, she has pigtails in her hair. Um, her hair is like a silvery, grayish, almost very color in a way. Um, she looks like the girl from the fishing anime that is also by the people who also did this. So it wouldn't surprise me if number one going into this third season, we do see a lot of Easter eggs to that fishing show, maybe Bochy the Rock, um, and a couple of other things like I think Sakura Trick, New Game. I would love to see that because I, I think in the last two or two seasons and then plus the OVA series, we haven't really seen anything just yet. But of course, with both Bochi and um, the fishing anime, especially the fishing anime, the Bochi girls were featured in there as an actual band and stuff, duh. And then the girls from the fishing anime were considered like keychains as their Easter egg. We were all looking like, okay, that's a little weird, but A, I get it. But no, I'm super excited for like how this season is going to go, the things that these girls are going to go into. I mean, even making alcohol. That, that, that shit was crazy. But I love the color of it, and it makes me wonder, like, damn, like, if you use something, is it going to change, like, to green or yellow or orange? Who knows? But that was really pretty and, like, dead ass. I would love to do it myself. But your girl ain't never going camping. I'm sorry. Once again, ain't my style. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the episode one of season three of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single night. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.